What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and no magics? I'm in Vegas, and today I um I was rewiring a bunch, so please for, forgive me. I want to talk about our expectations for tomorrow, the state of play for Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to co-stream or not. That's still TBD. But if I am, then make sure you hit those bell notifications so you can be aware of the time that I go live. We're going to do a little bit of a pre-show probably, and then we'll jump right into it. But right now, I want to talk about the expectations for tomorrow, what we can expect. Ah... Uh, so my first expectation is to obviously see the engine show off some of its new features. Again, like all of these games that have been coming out lately, this is absolutely gorgeous and I am so freaking excited for it to be finally in the Wizarding World. I've seen things like Elden Ring. I've seen things like um, Skyrim. Like obviously Skyrim is back from way back when in 2011 and I, that was forever ago, but I expect this to be similar in its epic nature. And I really think they're gonna show that off. We see in the trailer from time to time, things like hippogriffs flying across the screen, being in really dark cavernous areas. We see things like what I would equate, you know, equate to like a raid or a dungeon or something like that. These epic areas of huge proportions. and I. Really, I'm excited for this game to push the boundaries of memory on my PC. I'm actually getting uh, a new PC pretty much for this game and to do some content around that. I'm so stoked to see what they can do and how they can push that to the limit. So number one expectation is showing off those sweet, sweet, beautiful graphics, destructible uh, environments, and how we can affect those environments due to the wonderful technology that we have now. <clears throat> Expectation number two is I think that they will be releasing this game uh, and they or they'll be announcing the release date of this game coming either, you know, uh, in, in summer or in fall. Obviously, September 1st, uh, September 8th. Those are like the big, obviously, like back to Hogwarts days and things of that nature. Big release days around September specifically for a lot of games in their cycles. I expect there to be, you know, at the very end, uh, right before they go off the air, there's going to be like some new trailer that we have never seen before. And it's going to be right there at the end. It's going to hit the huge splash screen. And instead of saying like coming soon, it's going to have the actual date on it. And it's going to say pre-order now. That is my expectation. So number two, that we will get a pre-order availability starting tomorrow and also the release date hopefully some sort of exclusive you know uh, playstation is making a big deal so there might be a playstation exclusive of some sorts whether that's you know in-game skins uh, a specific console or house themed console or something like that uh, i don't know i don't know what but i'm excited about it and i hope that there is something that we know for sure tomorrow to give us as content creators people like me <laughs> something to ramp up to because i am so freaking excited expectation number three tomorrow i expect there will be a show off of the skill tree and this may again still be considered very work in progress or it may even be considered out of date as of the latest updates that they've made to this game but my guess is that we are going to be able to see a little bit of the skill tree they're just going to tease some of it and maybe even during the action of the game throughout the course of the gameplay that they're going to show off they will show off just some of the skills how you can spec into them and maybe even respec into them in the middle of the fight which i think would be absolutely gorgeous expectation number four for me in tomorrow's state of play for hogwarts legacy i think that there will be a very freaking big teaser and this could be tied into the other thing that i talked about just a second ago with the pre-orders and um how much you know they're going to show us but i think that there might be a big teaser at the very end where they're going to like walk into an area where there's going to be this huge epic boss battle, right? So like they're going down this path and they're going to show us exactly what it's like to do the side mission in a specific way. And I think that what's going to happen is that they are going to be doing the side mission. We're going to do some activities. And as we're going along the way, we're going to run into a couple of environmental things, maybe a couple of, of animals or something of that nature, like collecting potion ingredients. And then boom, all of a sudden, we're going to wander into this incredible space to explore Big Boss shows up at the very end and, ah, oh, ah, oh, I'm sorry, we ran out of time today. <laughs> I expect them to continue to tease us with things that are going to leave us salivating and wanting more information. 14 freaking minutes of gameplay, guys. Like, 14 minutes of gameplay. That's unbelievable. 14 minutes of something that no one has ever seen before, ever in the entire world. And it's based around the wizarding world. And it's based around an incredible environment that we're going to want to play in and wander in and lose ourselves in. 
and I'm so excited. And I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready for this game. I've been so ready for something that's immersive and just draws us in and has to do with the rich lore and history of the Wizarding World. I mean, we're talking about the late 1800s, okay? We're right on the cusp of the event, you know, where Bartholomew Barebone figures out like that witches and wizards are a real thing and then starts the Salem Society that we then see in the movie Fantastic Beasts, the first iteration. And it's just going to be so rich in lore. And I'm so excited to see how these uh, devs and how the writers for this game have just immersed themselves in the culture itself so that we can get an incredible product at the end of the day. So anyway, thanks for listening to me freak out for just a few minutes. I want to hear your expectations as well. Um, I realize now that I spoke way too fast and I hope that that was mostly coherent. I'm just really excited. Uh, I really am. Ever since the console games back in PlayStation days, like PS1, Hagrid, you know, like I'm just so excited for that. I'm excited for another Harry Potter game in today's technology, not older, but new, beautiful, stunning technology that we are going to get to live and breathe in and just have so much fun, um, maybe even some multiplayer stuff. So I don't know, guys. If you are excited for the state of play, please let me know by commenting down in the thing below. There are also some other things you can click down there, notifications, subscribe thingy, you know how to click stuff. Join us on Discord. I'd love to talk to you about this game and nerd out about this game. And obviously... Um, hit up, you know, all of the content creators, all of the people who are doing these Hogwarts legacy things, because they are all aboard the freaking hype train and, you know, WB is the conductor and we're just here to party. So, uh, let me know what you guys think down below, what you're expecting for tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to go, uh, sit in a quiet room for 10 minutes. I love you guys. Bye.